So today I will be reviewing a great remote desktop connection alternative. It's called a uh, remote PC. Uh, so you may or may not know um, Windows has a really cool tool that allows you to connect remotely to another computer uh, inside your net or your home network or outside. Um, so a lot of businesses use it. Um, so it's called remote desktop connection or RDC. Uh, but uh, the thing about it is you need to have Windows 10 Pro to use it and uh, it's uh, it's the user interface is a little older too um, so uh, today uh, I will be just reviewing remote PC which is a great alternative I just discovered um, a little over a week ago um, and so it's uh, basically right now they have uh, a 90% off offer right here for $2.95 for the first two computers. So uh, you click here, you sign up, and so you get up to 10 computers for $6.95 for the first year. That's that's deals, you know, that's deals for sure. Um, so uh, I have a link to three computers right now. So let's pop it up and let's take a look at it. So uh, right now I am on the Office desktop. This is this computer, and then I have a, my laptop connected to it, and I also have a media center connected to it. The media center is hardwired. Usually, it's a uh, think center, so uh, it's uh, usually hardwired to the Ethernet cable, which is plugged into the router, because I use it to upload uh, videos onto YouTube and such like that. And I use it as a um, media drive too to watch movies on um, uh, everywhere else in the network. So uh, let's try to connect, okay? So you add whatever you want to it, um, uh, however many computers you, that you, are, you want uh, within your plan. And then uh, you click connect. Um, so as soon as you click connect, uh, it will prompt you for a um, personal key. The personal key is the unique uh, key that you create for each computer that you connect to the network. So I will put in my personal key for this one. There you go, and it's popping up right now. So it'll give me this uh, um, message right here that this media center is connected to two monitors to access one or multiple screens. Uh, choose the required options from the view menu, blah, 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 blah. So right now, uh, showing it as one screen. So, but if I want to change it, all I have to do is view um, in all monitor. So, oh, right now it's actually two screens. Sorry, right here, this one screen and this another screen, and it's shown on one monitor. If I want to show it on two monitors, uh, I click that. So, it's actually shown on my other monitor too, but I'm not screen recording the other monitor, so that's why you can't see it. But um, so let's uh, try to uh, go back to monitor. Let's do all monitors, okay? And then I will now um, sh show you what it's like to use it. So let's go to Firefox. So let's go Google. Remote PC. Um, so I'm going to show you the browsing experience. So, okay. So definitely, it's not as seamless as if you are physically in front of that computer, um, but it's not too bad. Uh, I think definitely, uh, if you have a really good internet connection on all the computers, it'll, it's definitely it will definitely be better. But uh, I have DSL, and so right now, and the media PC and media center is actually not uh, connected to the Ethernet cable right now, so it's through Wi-Fi. Okay, so let's watch a video from the media center, okay? So if you're watching the uh, video from the actual... Um, PC, uh, the actual remote computer there, it works fine. I mean, more or less, it's it's still a little laggy. Um, so there you go. Um, and 
now let's try to watch YouTube, okay? Let's go this one. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's a little laggy. It's definitely not as seamless as if you're physically there. Um, and then, cool feature here, too, is if you want to enable sound, you can remotely. And I don't know if you can hear it or not, but there's sound coming out. I want to disable sound. So another cool thing is, uh, so right now what I'm doing here is exactly what's shown in the monitor for the remote PC. But if I want the remote PC just show a blank screen, because I mean it's kind of creepy to see uh, your PC just moving without you there uh, or without you touching it. Uh, you could do blank host screen. Um, and you could also boot up um, if the other computer is asleep. You could use remote PC to boot up too, to boot the computer up too. Uh, it's boot up via LAN, I think. Um, <clears throat> and then you could uh, transfer files from each computer, uh, from the computers back and forth. Uh, there's a whiteboard, uh, sticky notes. And, you know, right now I am in auto, but if I want better quality, I could choose better quality here. Um, And then it takes a while because, yeah, the image is sharpening for sure, right? Um, and then better speed, if I want speed. But you see, like, it's, uh, it's a little blurrier if uh, I choose speed. Um, so go auto, which is a good balance. Um, okay. So now let's do some other stuff. Let's do Excel and Word. Um, let's do Word. So, see, typing is perfectly fine. Um, okay. Um, yeah, so typing, if you're typing, that's fine. Let's do Excel. That's perfectly fine um, with Excel. Okay, and let's see what else we could test. I think that's pretty good for testing. So yeah, um, if you're gonna watch, basically if you're gonna use this PC, remote PC, to uh, watch uh, YouTube remotely from one computer and you watch it remotely on another host computer. Uh, yeah, it's gonna lag, uh, especially if you're running it through Wi-Fi and not a LAN connection um, or a wired connection. Um, and, but if you're just working, checking email, writing emails, uh, Excel, stuff like that, uh, it's gonna be fine. Uh, I don't really have any problems with that. I use email all the time and such. Um, so yeah, uh, so I bought the bundle that was six ninety five for a year and for six up to six computers to connect up to six computers. So that's totally worth it because if I was to use remote uh, desktop connection, the Windows uh, native app, um, then I would have to pay ninety nine dollars I think to upgrade to the Windows ten Pro instead of Windows ten Home, and I did not want to do that. So I paid six ninety five and I get to connect six computers. Uh, of course, once it renews uh, next year, it's going to be more expensive, but uh, I really like it. It's uh, definitely a cool app, um, has a lot of features, and uh, I definitely use it almost every day. Um, so yeah, if you uh, have any questions about it or you have any comments, uh, leave it in the comment section below. Um, all right.